Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about V-Motion which is also known as live migration. So we will only be discussing about the theoretical concept of V-Motion, we will not be demonstrating this idea in, in VMware. So we started discussing the concept of virtualization where we can create multi multiple virtual machines on a single computer or a single host. And the reason for creating multiple virtual machine was that let's say we have this computer, we have this hardware on that hardware or on that machine, we have more than required RAM, we have more hard drive, maybe we have more uh, processing power on this machine. Then to efficiently utilize this hardware machine, we can actually create multiple virtual machines and virtual machines are basically like computers, virtual computers. But for for creating multiple virtual machine we need some hypervisor we need some virtualization software and with the virtual with the help of virtualization software we can create multiple virtual machines let's say we can have vm vm1 vm2 vm3 and the same way we can have another machine we call it a host where we can host multiple virtual machines which are known as guest operating system they have their own operating system as well so these are like computers, they will have their own operating system and on those computer or on those virtual machine, we can have multiple application programs running on it. So they can have a database, let's say on this virtual machine, we can have database running on this virtual machine, we can have some website hosted. So all those virtual machines will be there for some specific purpose. So this is the concept we discussed, but now today we are going to discuss that, let's say if, if there is any problem, with the let's say host machine or if we want to go through some maintenance uh, or, or there is some kind of disaster so in this way is there any possibility that if this host is in problem let's say it is if those this host is in problem and is this possible that we move this virtual machine which is actually hosted on this machine so is this possible to move this virtual machine from this host to somewhere else? Because we have, the, we may have some very important application running on this virtual machine and we don't want to lose them. So is there any possibility to move this from this host to somewhere else? So yes, answer yes. We have some possibility by which we can move this virtual machine from this host to another host, let's say. And this is actually known as vMotion. So if we define this vMotion, then VMware vSphere vMotion is a migration of workloads. So workloads means virtual machines. So we can move virtual machine, we can migrate virtual machine from one ESXi host. So this is host, from this host to let's say another host. By the way, I have taken this picture from their VMware official website. You can go and I'll be putting the link of specific this image. You can take and go and study in details. So anyway, from this, so what happens here? So we have some virtual machine which are based or which are hosted on this host and we can move this virtual machine from that host to somewhere to some other host. Important thing about that is that during migration, any application which might be running on this virtual machine, let's say whatever database or whatever website is hosted on that, that will actually keep running and the users can have continuous access to those, those that virtual machine. Yes, The virtual machine is moving and there will not be any disruption of the services. The user can access those services and, and this virtual machine will be moved to some other host and then there is also one other migration also that is known as cold migration so cold in the cold migration we just um, power off this virtual machine and then we move this vir virtual machine from one host to another host the important thing is in this v motion is that that this virtual machine will be in the powered on state we don't need to uh, power off this machine that's important it means there will not be any downtime and user can continuously access the services which are hosted on that virtual machine. That's another characteristics of this vMotion. And one more characteristics of vMotion is that we can automate this procedure. So automated migration allows us to schedule migration at a predefined time. 
So we can define certain times and then on that particular time the migration will occur automatically. To, to make it possible there are certain requirements and of that requirement is that there should be a network between those uh, hosts. Uh, so let's say this is the source host, this is the target host or the destination host. So in that, in that case if you are moving this virtual machine from this one to that one then they need to have a connection between them. And there are other migrations which we are not discussing in this video but there is storage v motion which is relevant to this picture so I wanted to give a definition of that. So in the storage v motion is to move virtual machine from one storage to another. So we can have one storage somewhere here and we can have another storage somewhere else. So we can move our virtual machine which are stored on this storage to somewhere else. Or now few more, uh, one more point about that is the live migration can be performed over longer distances. And at the moment what their website mentions is that the distance can be like uh, 100 millisecond round trip time. What is round trip time? So in communication round trip time is the amount of time it takes for a packet to be sent plus the acknowledgement being received. For example we have this, this we have the client and we have the server machine here. So we send our request to the server machine and server responds back. So for this um, communication or this interaction it needs some time and that time is known as round trip time. So it means if there are two locations whose round trip time is almost 100 milliseconds. So in this case, if this is the condition, then we can move virtual machines. So let's say in their website, they mentioned that we can move a virtual machine, let's say from New York City to, to London. So if we have one host here and we have another host here, so in that case also, so this may be it, the round trip time in this case may is maybe 100 millisecond in this case if there is one host here and the second host is here it means even in that case we can move one virtual machine from this one city to this city and now you can imagine that if there is some problem on this side then that particular virtual machine can be moved to some side a and the reason can be like there, there can be multiple reasons maybe maintenance can be reason so this was a brief introduction about vMotion or the live migration and we also have some other migrations we'll be discussing maybe in our future videos but for today we just describe what vMotion is and maybe in some other video we'll discuss that how to make it possible, how to um, configure it, how to enable it in VMware vSphere. So we'll discuss this thing and demonstrate this in some future video. Thank you.